Here we are on the Copilot Studio homepage. At the top, you can see Describe your Copilot to create it. This is where you can enter natural language to create your own custom Copilot. In this case, we are going to start with a template. So I'm going to select Save Travels. Next, we will see an overview page of the Save Travels Copilot. And at the top, you can see the template instructions. When you click on it, you will be guided through a Microsoft Learn page where you can see all the instructions of that template. In this case, we are just going to look over the overview page. At the top, you can see the name, Save Travels Copilot. Below that, you can see a description, instructions, and knowledge. In the knowledge section, we have the US travel website which is a website where you can find all kinds of details about travel for US citizens. Let's create this Copilot and wait for a little while until it's loaded. Here we are, and now we can already test out our Copilot. You can see we have a welcome message, and now I can start asking questions. Let's start by asking, what is the US visa policy? When I hit send, the copilot will look for an answer in the knowledge sources and it will generate an answer for me. Here we can see that it answers the question. It also shows a reference and when I hover over it, you can see that it points to the travel.state.gov website. And that's the US travel website we had in our knowledge. But what if I want to do more? if I want to create, for instance, an extra experience for my Copilot users. I can go to Topics, and I can create a topic here. Let's go to Add a Topic. Here, we have an option to create from blank or to create from a description with Copilot. In this case, we're going to use from blank. Here, we are in the Topic Builder. We can rename our topic, let's call it travel plans. And we can also edit some phrases so that we know when this topic is being triggered. Next, we want to add another node. Let's select ask with adaptive card. Let's click on the icon and let's replace it with a predefined adaptive card. Here we can see the adaptive card that I pasted in. We have a heading called travel plan and we have a description. Then we have a form where we can enter some data and we have a submit button which will submit the data. Then as outputs from the adaptive card, we have a couple of variables. For us, the most important are destination and number. Next, I'm going to add another node. I'm going to go into the call and action menu, and I'm going to create a prompt. This will open the AI builder prompt builder, and I can enter a prompt name. In this case, I'm going to name it travel plan. Next, I'm going to add the prompt. Please give me number options for activities in destination for people who are there for the first time. Please return a li numbered list with emojis in the name of the activity and give it a brief description. Here, I want to add some inputs because we have some placeholders here for number and destination and I want to replace that by an input. Let's add the first input. Let's call it number, and I can also add sample data here. Let's add another input. Let's call this destination, and also use some sample data here. Now, we need to replace the placeholders by the actual input. 
let's insert number here. And also let's remove destination and replace that by the destination input. Because we added the sample data, I'm not, I now have the option to test the prompt. Here we are, we can get a prompt response where it advises us to go to the Seattle Harbor Cruise, Pike Place Market, and Discovery Park. I think these are pretty good recommendations, so let's save this custom prompt. After saving, I'm going to close out of the AI Builder Prompt Builder. And I'm going to search in the search bar for travel. And that will show our travel plan prompt. Let's select it. And it will automatically detect that we have two inputs here. And let's select the variable for it. Here, I'm going to use the destination or topic.destination. And I'm going to use the number or topic.number. And those are the outputs of the adaptive card, which we use in the inputs of the prompt. Next, I also want to select a variable as output. So let's click on that and create a new one. When I click on a name, I can also change the variable name. So let's do that and change it to prompt output. Now, the last step that we need to do is add another node and send a message. Because of course, I want to send the output of the prompt to the user. So here, we can select the insert variable icon and we can look for prompt output, which is the variable that we just created as the output, dot text. And that's the actual output of the prompt. Next. I am ready, so I'm going to save this topic and I am going to add a question in the test your copilot section. So I'm going to add travel plan, which is one of the phrases that we had at the trigger. So this should trigger my travel plans topic. Here we go. We already get the adaptive card where we can enter. Where are you going to? In this case, I want to go to Las Vegas. How many activities are you looking for? In this case, I want three different activities. Let's select Submit. And this will take a little while before it will respond. And here we go. Visit the famous casinos, explore the Las Vegas Strip, and watch a show. Those are the tips from the model.